Hey there, John Morris here with JohnMorrisOnline.com. In this video, I'm going to run you through installing XAMPP. What XAMPP is, is it is a local server program that allows you to run a test environment on your local computer. Very, very handy for um, not only learning how to, you know, learning web design, web development, but also just setting up sites and getting them ready for you actually put them on a live site. So I'm going to show you how to install this tool. It's a very handy tool. So, of course, the first thing you want to do is go to Google and find XAMPP. So it's X-A-M-P-P, and of course, you'll see this Apache Friends XAMPP come up, and you'll just click on that link. And their site can be a little bit difficult to uh, navigate around, but you want to look for this XAMPP for Windows or XAMPP for Linux, depending on what you have, or even Mac. I have a Windows, so I'm going to go to Windows. And then you're going to scroll down here a little bit and ultimately what you're looking for is, is this little area here whether it's for Windows um, or you're on down getting some of this other stuff. But you're, you're wanting to look for this. Of course, um, you're going to want the basic package if you've never installed it. And then of course, I would recommend the exe file. It does pretty much all the installing for you. Of course, if you know a little bit more, you can use the zip file, whatever you want to do. So we'll go ahead and click that. And it's going to take us to SourceForge to download it. And we'll save the file. And so I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this downloads and then resume once uh, it's done downloading. Alright, so as you can see, we're about done downloading. And in fact, we just did finish downloading. So you're just going to go ahead and uh, run this exe program. And we'll bring this over here. You can pick the destination folder. I recommend just leaving it in C or whatever your drive letter is. And it's going to do this funny little thing for a while. And I'll go ahead and pause while this runs as well because it pretty much just runs and gets to the end. So I'll resume once uh, this is done doing its thing. Alright, and so it's gone ahead and finished that process, and so once it does, it'll pop up this screen. Um, it's going to ask you basically for some options. Um, should I add shortcuts to the desktop and start menu? I'm going to hit yes. Should I proceed? Yes. And this is going to ask you, should you use uh, drive letters? Um, or should I make a portal exam without drive letters? This is basically if you're installing it to USB stick, which we're not, so I'm just going to leave it at no. And then, of course, this program is going to go through its little uh, install deal. So we'll let it run for a little bit and hit enter. So it set the time zone to America, Chicago, which is my time zone. Um, so we'll leave that. And then it's this is when uh, essentially you're done. So it's, it's been installed and now you can start the XAMPP control panel. So you hit one and hit enter and this little application will pop up and of course over here you can hit exit and exit that clear this close it and you're all uh, pretty much set to go All right. so the way this works is it's going to simulate um, having Apache and MySQL and PHP and a number of other things installed so it's basically like giving you your own web server that you can uh, test on um, so the things that you're going to want to do uh, in order to get this working are first uh, hit start and start Apache. Okay, so that makes it run like it's a web server. Then you'll want to uh, start MySQL. So now you have pretty much, if you're running a LAMP stack, Linux, Apache, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, then you have a simulated test environment using this. Okay, so now that we have that going, what you can do, you can go ahead and just X that out. And we should be able to come up here and go to localhost and it gives us XAMPP and of course I'm English alright so this is kind of the camp XAMPP control panel um, so this will let you do different settings some of the settings that you're going to, want to do right off the top are the security settings and you'll notice that it says the XAMPP pages are accessible through the network by anyone a MySQL admin user who has no password PHP my admin is freely accessible by the network. So basically, what that's saying is that um, 
you know, anyone, if they knew your IP address and all that stuff, could get in and actually see this stuff. So we want to secure that up a little bit. So we're going to um, click on the security link down here. And this is our going to be our super user password for our MySQL database. So we're just going to, or our user. So we're going to go ahead and just type in a password. And you want to check this box and hit password okay so now if we go back to security it should tell us let's try that again Okay, now we have to reset MySQL. So we'll come back to our control panel and we'll stop MySQL and we'll start it. Close that again. All right, now you can see our MySQL database is protected um, and our PHP MyAdmin is protected. Okay. So that gives us a little bit more protection. Um, if you, you know, want to come in and you want to uh, protect this, you could sure do that. Um, you know, I I don't typically. Maybe I should, but um, you know, be that as it may. So anyway, if you want to do that, you know, you can do that. All right. So what does what does Zamp allow us to do? Well, if we open our our folder here and we go into the C path and we'll see this ZAMP folder and we want to go into this htdocs folder okay so anything that we place in this htdocs folder is going to show up um, in our browser so for example let's open notepad plus plus and let's just type in this and we'll save this in our C folder under XAMPP in htdocs and we'll just call it test.php alright so we'll save it there and we'll minimize this alright so we have our test.php file so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to XAMPP and we're gonna go to test.php and you'll see that now it gives us that web page and that's exactly what we typed in here now we can change this and use code, for example, and we can write um, write this and come back over here, refresh, and it allows us to see to actually execute PHP code. Okay, so you may or may not know that if you write PHP code and you try to you try to view that um, file in your web browser it's just gonna print out all the the code that you wrote so um, if we don't use a program like XAMPP it's not gonna actually execute um, that code and here's the reason why because your computer by default doesn't have a PHP pro processing engine so um, I would say the most popular pro PHP processing engine is Zend and Zend is essentially what happens is Apache, the web server, gets a request for a file. Okay, and this is on any web server. So um, Apache gets a request for um, the the file, the PHP file. It sees it's a PHP file and knows that it needs to be processed by PHP before it can send it to the browser because the browser can't process PHP. So what Apache does is it sends it to PHP. PHP processes it and then sends the the output which is always ultimately um, a client code like HTML or JavaScript or something like that it sends it back to Apache and then Apache uh, sends it to the browser the browser can of course render HTML and JavaScript so you have to have a PHP processing engine in order to see the output of your PHP code so that's what XAMPP allows you to do. It allows you to ha it basically installs 
a PHP processing engine, the Zend engine, on your local computer along with MySQL and a number of other things, Apache, and it allows you to actually run it like it were a web server. So you can actually see the output of your code. Right? So that's what XAMPP allows you to do. So you're going to be using this quite a bit um, as a developer. So it's a program that you definitely, definitely want to install uh, and get up and running.